Last night, Dan and I sat down and watched this TLC special, My Husband's Not Gay. It's about a few guys who live in Utah, they're Mormon, and they're gay. But they say they're not, they have this thing called same-sex attraction. They're not gay, they're just attracted to the same sex because gay means that you're having sex with people even though one of them said that he'd gone on dates with gay men and it's very confusing. I've seen a couple of comments in social media from gay people saying, oh, what's the big deal? These people want to make their life choices, then let them. Here's the big deal. Kids see this stuff and this is, the, this is what they learn about being gay. They learn that, oh, well, you don't have to be gay. You can change yourself. You might have same-sex attraction, but you can just kind of suppress that your whole life and marry a woman. That is not healthy. These guys, one of them talks about, you know, in the middle of his marriage, having a couple friends over for a sleepover and things getting out of hand. It's, it's incredibly damaging to the marriage, to the, uh, to the people involved, and the person who has to suppress these desires the whole life. A couple other really weird things. The like guys talk openly about being attracted to other guys. They even have a scale for how hot another guy is. The Bible talks about lusting after someone being the same as adultery, being the same as having sex with them. So how is it okay for you to stand there and lust after somebody, sometimes in front of your wife, but you can't have sex with them even though the Bible says they're the same exact thing. There's no difference. Uh, sports enter into the show at one point one of the guys who's actually like a basketball coach brings the guys to play some basketball. And one of them says that he wants to play basketball to connect with his, uh, his masculine side, this masculine part of, Toby, get out of here. Sorry, my crazy cats. I want to connect with his masculine side by going around and shooting baskets like this. He's never played before, he doesn't know how to play. Masculinity is not about what you do, it's, it's how you do it. Basketball has nothing to do with being masculine or not. Being yourself is masculine. Somebody who would never step foot on a basketball court but is their authentic self is far more masculine to me than somebody who's living this weird fake life and shooting basketballs when he doesn't even know what he's doing. So, like a fish out of water. So that's why this show is damaging. It, it, it tells lies to kids, it tells lies about the Bible, and it tells lies about masculinity. And I hope a show like this never airs again.